Welcome to TTV News with some latest events in Tainan province. The audience, currently, Tainan has over 6,000 businesses operating in on economic fields and creating great potential for digital economy development. However, the array of digital technologies, applications, interaction, and business activity is still not high. In order to develop digital technology enterprises, Tanning has set to go on that by 2025, the Horn province will have about 10 enterprises producing, providing services, trading and distributing products in the field of digital technology. By 2030, it will be increased to about 50 enterprises. Tanning has focusing on developing digital infrastructure to achieve the above goal. Besides, there are some issues that need to be implemented, such as coordinating with telecommunication enterprises to provide 5G services, connecting information systems in the province, share information systems and database from the government, ministries and branches, maintaining connectivity, integrating level 3 and level 4 public services for eligible administrative procedures on the National Public Service Portal. In addition, Tanning has also created more conditions for businesses and digital technology products by holding forum on digital business development, calling for the involvement of domestic and foreign digital businesses to attract investment and business in the province. Digital technology enterprises of the province are always encouraged to implement topics and projects on information technology application building a government, smart city, digital transformation of the province. In order to promote the potentials of countryside, then it has conducted planning of rural communes in the province. After reviewing and assessing the state of communes, the People's Committee of Tainan Province has has guidelines for rural planning of 47 communes. Currently, districts, towns, and cities in Tainan province are organizing rural planning for communes in their respective management areas in terms of network of rural population points within the administrative boundaries of the communes, commune centers, and concentrated rural population, orientation of planning space, organizations, new residential architectures. In the process of formulating a rural communes construction planning projects, the planning consultancy organization has to coordinate with the local government in collective opinions from organizations and individuals so that the people can easily assess and feedback. Before approving, the comments must be fully summarized and reported to the competence authorities for consideration. Recently, Jiang Ban Town Party Committee held a ceremony to announce the decision to establish the party sale of Wang Sao Jiang Ban One Member Company Limited, headquartered in Benwoi Hamlet, Fubin Kamu. Attending the ceremony were Secretary of the Party Committee Vo Van Yong, Chairman of the Tao People's Council Ho Van Hong, and Chairman of the Tao People's Committee Trần An Minh. The party sale consists of three members. Director Nguyen Phan Sao was assigned to hold the position of Secretary of the Party Cell for the 2020-2025 term. Mr. Vo Phan Yung congratulated the Party Cell members and asked them to continue promoting the local revolutionary tradition, upholding the party's sense of responsibility, performing well the task that assigned by the superiors. It's also necessary to lead to complete the tasks of the Party Cell and enterprises, train the elite people who work at the company and introduce them to the party for consideration and admission according to regulations. The audience, the trade unions of Tân Bình Rubber's John Stop Company, had just had a preliminary review of trade unions' activity and a summary of the workers' month and action month on occupational safety and health in 2022. The conference was attended by Chairman of Vietnam Rubber's Labor, Union Phang Man Hong, Secretary of the Party Committee and General Director of the Company, Dung Van Cư. Tân Bình Rubber John Stock Company currently has eight grassroots trade unions with a total of over 1,000 members. 
In the first six months of 2022, the company's trade union has promoted activities toward the grassroots, mainly concentrating on employees, specifically in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic. Then business activities were difficult. The company still makes efforts to give two trade union shelters worth 100 million dong, visiting and supporting workers suffering from occupational accidents, serious diseases. Nearly 500 advanced workers were organized to visit the Lac Phang Thic with a total amount of nearly 2 billion Vietnam dong. In order for employees to work with peace of mind, the company has equipped tools to serve the material and spiritual life for officials and employees at the company's farms and two rubber projects in the Kingdom of Cambodia with the value of hundreds of millions of Vietnam dong. Implementing the program One Million Initiatives, Launched by the Vietnam General Confederation of Labor, the company's trade union has had 35 initiatives, reaching 116% of the site plan and implementing the second phase. On August 14, the Youth Union and Women's Union of Human Chao District Police cooperated with the youth union branches of the Ning radio and television station in Linka 2, together with Human Chao District People's Procuracy Union, to organize the program accompanying the families of Agent Orris or Delsin victims. The program was held in the four communes and towns of Human Chao District. 100 gifts totaling over 30 million dong were given to the families of Agent Orris victims donated by two families from Ho Chi Minh City. These gifts aren't only timely to encourage the families, but also a practical activity to join hands to take care of the material and spiritual life of Asian Orange victims. Ladies and gentlemen, among livestock, beef have a higher environmental impact than other livestock due to the use of high protein feeds and large amount of waste. In order to reduce pollution, prevent disease, and aim to sustainable livestock production, recently some farms have grazed pigs on floors. The system automatically collects on waste, trees, and kills pathogens to form organic fertilizers suitable for plants and wastewater. It also treated before being discharged into the environment. Currently, the husbandry tractors in the province continue to shift to farm-scale farming to ensure biosecurity. The province has more than 610 cattle farm with a total herd of nearly 193,000 heads, 112 poultry farms with a total herd of more than 5.6 million heads. The application of technical and technological advance to animal husbandry has been effectively applied. Pigs are livestock with high environmental impact. In recent years, some pig farms have invested more in wastewater treatment system for the whole farm, including Mr. Huynh Văn Cường Pig Farm in Thành Long Camille, Châu Thành District. This pig farm project is a scale of 3,000 shows and 20,000 meat pigs. Two liter per year, designed on an area of more than 51 hectares, has been built quite effectively according to the models of pricing on steel band, also known as tunnel knitting cases, serving water. The emergence problem is the treatments of feces and waste water. The case of the cellar and source the collections of 100% of waste water and beast manure. His feces and waste water go down to the cellars. In the cycles, all manures and waste water are collected, then processed. Peter Gung's family specialized in grazing pigs for 20 consecutive years. He used to apply a closed case system with a cooling system, which can be considered large scale, but it has not been effective. Pressing bits on the floor, the whole process of grazing, bits will not be passed, no need to wash the case daily. Bit manures is stored in the basement as a dip of 0.6 meters when it is almost full. It will be discharged into the center cellars until the bits are completely empty. The wastewater will be discharged into the cellars and freeze and cleanse before entering the new pass of peace.
equipment such as practice floor system for burns liner, bar brace, and practice band's floor support bar, agitators, and waste treatment surface floors are imported from advanced country with high qualities, durable, being used by modern livestock industry. The technology raising pigs on floor will achieve higher reductivity, ensuring the safety of the epidemics and reducing the amount of waste water. The amount of waste water after entering steel, the composting rest is treated and is packaged into bags as raw material for reductions of microbial fertilizers. The remaining waste water is transferred to the biogas contains showers for 60 days for anaerobic treatment before being discharged into the environment. Every year, about 100,000 tons of manure are ditches, which can be considered a resource. Meanwhile, this waste is becoming a resting issue. The solutions of raising peace on floor is one of the solutions for the problem of waste collection. Peace on floor has a high initial investment cost, but having many significant advantages. This is a form of high-tech livestock production, which they consider the foundations for planning sustainable livestock development in the interaction period. That's all for today's TTV News. Thanks for watching and see you next time.